The RFL um, introduced new uh, welfare guidance in 2015 um, and they wanted to know whether the guidance was working or not, what aspects worked well, what could be improved. So they approached us um, to look at reviewing their welfare provision. And I think that in sport in general there, there can be a lot of pressure on players um, and rugby in particular is a sport that it does attract big, strong, masculine men. Um, and if they embody these stereotypical norms, it means that they are at increased risk of higher rates of depression, anxiety and, and substance abuse and things like that. Um, we know when your career ends, particularly if it ends quickly, then that can cause problems and, and difficulties. Uh, we also know that injury is, is one of the trigger points, so having an injury being out for a long time can cause problems. So I think the, the performance and being in the spotlight and being in the media attention can create pressures and, and some players will be able to deal with that better than others um, but there will also be different issues going on for each player um, and it's just making sure that we don't only look after the performance on the field but we look after the, the whole of the athlete and what happens is that they actually perform better on the field as well so once the, one of the quotes from the welfare officers is their job is to keep players happy and if the players are happy then they perform on the pitch as well um, and I think this has been recognised um, throughout the world of sport and the government in particular has taken this on board uh, they produced a duty of care report last year um, saying just that, that uh, as a, a sports body w we need to be doing more, we need to see not just the performance and we don't need to just look at athletes and how, how can we get the most out of them but what can we do to actually support their whole needs. Are other sports um, taking an interest at all? Are they beginning to take it seriously as well? Yeah, I, I think it, it, it is it's starting to happen more and then sort of the psychological aspects um, it's taken a while for sports psychology to be recognised in that um, sports psychology is important for how we get the best performance. But the health psychology side is, is behind that, but we are now um, beginning to recognise that, that players you know, aren't just machines, they are human beings. Um, and it, it, the world of sport has got to take that on board. We will continue to work with the RFL and we look at how the changes they have taken on board what difference they'll make within the sport um, and then you know uh, as other sports are looking to progress their welfare support hopefully they'll look at what we found through looking at the rugby league see what they can lessons they can learn from the research as well uh, and then if we can work with other sports as well then that'd be great too.